Roulette Key Gold from roulettekeygold.com. In this fifth demonstration, which follows on from the previous four, obviously, following the bank, the hidden dozen, alert on the middle dozen, and finals, and finally saving the game history so you can replay it later. Now it's following the bank now, the last number was 26, so it suggests bet one on high. Now, if we hit another high number, it says bet two on high. So we've only lost one so far. If we hit another high number, it says bet four on high. And it carries on until it says bet 64. You might like to change that to 32. Now, bet 8 on high. Whoops. Now, did you see that? We've had 37 spins. And the last hint was there are 12 unhit numbers. Now, on average, mathematically speaking, each one of these numbers should have come up within 37 spins. Of course it never does. So they're quite likely to come up within the next couple of spins. So if I click on one of those, then those 12 hit numbers, unhit numbers become 11. You can see it's 12 unhit numbers here. You might want to miss this one and not bet on that. So I'll bet on high again. And we've still got 12 unhit numbers. This only happens once per game. Now, I've missed one go. Now I'll bet on them again. And this bet on high at 16 will now change to bet 32. Or the stake would increase to 32. So, well, hit number 28. There's only 11 unhit numbers. And instead of going to 32, 32 has been transferred down here and the stake is now 2. So if we turn that system off, now perhaps it was 32, I've lost count now, but that's why I've got a computer in the first place. Right, now let's have a look at this, the finals. Let's scroll this down a bit so you can see it. Move that out of the way. Right, the finals in that yellow box up there are the numbers ending in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. There are four of each of those numbers. So the final 0 is 0, 10, 20, 30. The final 3, which is showing there, is 3, 13, 23, 33. And the 4 is 4, 14, 24 and 34. So let's hit a couple of those. So I'll hit the note and the 3 and that will leave me with one final. So here we are. So a note and the 3. I'll ignore this now. You've already seen it. Now what's happened there? This chip's shown. That shows us that the middle row has missed more than, the middle dozen rather, has missed more than 14 times. It's actually missed 15 times. That's why 15 is in black. And the 15 in red beside it, that one doesn't drag, shows us that 15 is the maximum number of times that 15 has missed. If you want to save these highs any time, you can save the highs here. That will save them. And that created a file in the folder called highs.txt which is there and that file can be read back anytime we wish and we might wish to use it for setting our alerts in future. Right, that's by the by. Right, back to the finals. Right, okay, and we've got a count of six an alarm of six set for the finals and it's only up to three so far. So 
a tenth of you more. So, 11, that's on the final one. 22, that's the final two. 13. 19. And I can see the final four has now missed five times. So let's just hit any other number. And there we are. We get an alert saying only one final remaining. And the total and the counter up here. So any time one of those numbers is hit, you win 36 units less whatever you've staked. So if we don't hit one of those chips, we lose four. We don't hit it again, we lose another four. But if we do hit one, we win at 32. So we get a total of 24. Right, this is going on a bit long now. You must be getting bored. I'm going to stop this recording just now. What you can do is save the replay. So we've already saved the highs. We can save the replay and then we can exit.